Good morning, grade 9. Today we will continue with chapter 7, Geometry. Please open your books on page 33 in order to solve number 6. And in this exercise, we will apply the rules that we have learned before. In number 6, in the given, we have in the adjacent figure, C is a circle with center O and diameter IA so that IA is equal to 8 cm. B is a point on the tangent at I to the circle C so that IB is equal to 6 cm. In part 1, we have to copy the figure that will be completed later. In part 2, let C' prime be the circle with diameter IB. The two circles, C and C' prime, intersect at I and another point E. In order to draw the circle C' prime, we have to take the midpoint of the diameter IB that will be the center of the circle C' prime, and then we draw the circle C' prime, the blue circle. And the two circles, C and C' prime, intersect at I and another point E as we can see in the figure. Part A. Prove that the three points A, E, and B are collinear. In order to prove that the three points A, E, and B are collinear, we have to prove that the angle A, E, B is equal to 180 degrees. We know that the measure of the angle B, E, I is 90 degrees. Since the triangle BEI is inscribed in a semicircle of diameter IB, any triangle inscribed in a semicircle is a right triangle. And if BEI is a right triangle, then the measure of the angle BEI is equal to 90 degrees. IEA is equal also to 90 degrees since the triangle IEA is inscribed in a semicircle of diameter IA. That means the triangle IEA is a right triangle. Then, the measure of the angle AEB, which is equal to the sum of the measures of the two angles, BEI and IEA, then AEB is equal to 90 plus 90, then AEB is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can deduce that A, E, and B are collinear. In part B, we have to calculate A, B. Since A, I, B is a right triangle at I, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem and calculate A, B. A, B squared is equal to AI squared plus BI squared. AI is equal to 8 and BI is equal to 6, as we have seen in the given. Then AB squared is equal to 100. In order to calculate AB, AB is equal to radical 100, therefore AB is equal to 10 centimeters. In part 3, A. Write in two different triangles the ratios equal to cosine IBA. IBA is the angle marked in blue in the figure. We have to calculate the ratios equal to cosine IBA, then we have to find two right triangles containing the angle IBA. Since we use the trigonometric lines, the sine, the cosine, and the tangent only in right triangles. The first triangle is triangle IBE, which is right at E. In this triangle, cosine IBA, which is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, cosine IBA is equal to BE the adjacent side 
over the hypotenuse, which is IB. This is the first triangle. The second triangle is triangle IBA, which is right at I, and it contains the angle IBA. In this triangle, cosine IBA is equal to IB, which is the adjacent side, over AB, which is the hypotenuse. In part B, show that BE is equal to 3.6. We have to calculate BE. Using part A, since we have the same cosine, which is cosine IBA, we can deduce that BE over IB equal IB over AB. Then BE over IB, which is 6, equal IB, which is 6, also over AB, which is 10. If we make a cross multiplication, we get 10 BE equal 36, therefore BE is equal to 3.6 centimeters. In part C, we have to deduce the length AE then we have to calculate IE. AE is equal to AB minus BE. We already have AB which is 10 and BE which is 3.6. Then AE is equal to 10 minus 3.6. Therefore, AE is equal to 6.4 centimeters. In order to calculate IE, we have to take the triangle IEA, which is right at E, and use the Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse is IA in this triangle. Then IA squared equal IE squared plus AE squared. And we need to calculate IE. IA is equal to 8, and AE is equal to 6.4. Then 8 squared equal IE squared plus 6.4 squared. Then IE squared equal 8 squared minus 6.4 squared. Then IE squared is equal to 23.04. Therefore, IE is equal to radical 23.04. Then IE is equal to 4.8 centimeters. In part 4, the tangent at B to C' prime intersects IE at F. I remind you that the tangent at B is the line perpendicular to the radius passing through B or the diameter passing through B, which is in this case the line perpendicular to IB. This tangent line intersects the line IE at the point F, as we can see in the figure. Part A shows that the two triangles, EBF and EIB, are similar. In order to prove that two triangles are similar, we have to find two angles in the first triangle that are equal to two angles in the second triangle. The first two angles are BEF from the first triangle and BEI from the second triangle. They are equal since they are both equal to 90 degrees. We have also the angle EBF equal to the angle EIB since they are both inscribed angles that intercept the same arc BE. That means they are both equal to the measure of the arc BE over 2. Therefore, EBF and EIB are two similar triangles. Part B. Deduce the value of EI times EF. Since the two triangles EBF and EIB are similar, we can deduce 
the ratio of similarity. We put the triangle EBF and the triangle EIB in a way that the two triangles have the same points with equal angles. That means we have to put E, B, F, and E since E is equal to E, and I since I is equal to B, and B since B is equal to F, EBF and EIB. We put the ratio of similarity, we start by EB over EI equal EF over EB, and they are equal to BF over IB. We have to deduce the value of EI times EF. That's why we take the first two fractions that are equal, with EB equal to 3.6 over EI equal EF over EB, which is equal to 3.6. We make a cross multiplication and we deduce that EI times EF equal to 3.6 times 3.6, then they are equal to 12.96. In part 5, let L be the translate of B under the translation with vector IA. That means the vector BL is equal to the vector IA. We have to prove that the four points A, E, F, and L are on the same circle with diameter to be determined. That means we have to find two right angles from these four points. From this given, the vector BL is equal to the vector IA, and from the given, the angle BIA is equal to 90 degrees. Then we can deduce that the quadrilateral AI BL is a rectangle. Therefore, the angle ALF is equal to 90 degrees, and this is the first right angle. The second right angle is AEF, which is equal to 90 degrees, and this is proved before. Therefore, the two angles ALF and AEF are both equal to 90 degrees. We have found two right angles from these four points. Then we can deduce that the four points A, E, F, and L are on the same circle with diameter AF. Don't forget to write the exercise in this video on your notebooks and you have to review the exercise. You have to do it once again. Thank you so much for listening.